Beef industry at the moment is in the throes of a serious uh, price crisis. And um, like steer prices relative to last year are probably back about 8 to 9%. Uh, young bulls are back about 14, 15%. So there's huge consternation uh, within, the, uh, within uh, the beef industry, within, particularly within the producers of beef. And uh, what we're trying to do today in Chagas is our remit really is to identify practical ways in which farmers can secure their incomes through their own actions within the farm gate. Uh, clearly for a farmer, the price of beef, the price he gets for the beef is critical. The price he has to pay for the inputs that he uses to produce the beef is also critical and largely not completely outside of the farmer's control. So what we try to do in Chagas is to focus on, for example, areas that can make a difference such as the, uh, the genetic quality of the herd that the farmer has in place. If he's a suckler farmer, for example, we would be saying to that farmer, look, get the type of cow right, that's critical. Make sure that that cow is productive, that produces one calf per year, that the calving pattern is pretty compact, so that when the calves come out to grass, there's plenty of grass for them and that means that the farmer then can use the cheapest source of food for his animals, which is of course grazed grass, which is about one and a half times as cheap as all other sources of feed, such as concentrate feed input. So the, the, the simple message we have is, um, by using good genetics and by managing grass, the farmer can optimise income conditions irrespective of price. But of course, in the current climate, uh, the way prices are, are moving in the marketplace, that's the single greatest concern of farmers. We have to always look to the future. We have to always be, uh, look at the, the, the possibilities that will improve incomes on farms. It's like the, a good hurler. No good, good hurler looks at where the ball has been. He looks at where the ball is likely to be. And prices will recover, first of all. Hopefully, uh, the specifications that the uh, retailer requires will become clearer, and provide clearer messages to farmers. If that is in place, we will be confident that farmers following good management practices can improve their income significantly.